Hi guys, let's see how to fix action needed on my Wi-Fi and Windows 11 computer. So let's fix it. Just search regit it to open registry editor. Just click on registry editor to open registry editor. Now what we have to do, we have to go to this path. I've given this path in the description of this video. Just copy this path and paste it in the address bar. Hit enter. Okay. Now in the right side, just locate this key enable active probing okay and double click on it and change the value data to zero okay if this is not available enable active probing is not available this item right click and create a new dot 32 bit value here and name it as enable active probing okay just name it enable active probing if it is not there okay in my case it is present so I don't need to create this okay now the next step is we have to go to this location I have also given this path in the description of this video hit enter now in the right side you'll have to locate these two key no active probe and disable passive polling if they are not present see in this case if they are not present here so what you will do just right click choose new dot 32 bit value and name it no active probe rename it as no active probe double click on it and change the value data to 1 similarly create a new dot 32 bit value again name it disable passive polling And rename it disable passive polling double click change the value data to 1 and now restart your computer and your problem will be fixed so I've given all these paths and values in the description of this video you can find it there now if this does not fix there is one more method which you can try and that is using gpedit.msc so just search gpedit.msc now click on gpedit.msc to open local group policy editor. Now you have to go to computer configuration, administrative templates, system. And in the right side, just locate internet communication management. Double click on it to expand it. Now double click on internet communication settings. Now locate Turn off Windows Network Connectivity Status Indicator Active Tests. Okay, just locate this. Double click on it. And now what you have to do, you have to click on Enable to enable it. And just click on Apply and click on OK. And then restart your computer and your problem will be fixed. But note that this method only applies for Windows 10 Pro machines. Thanks for watching guys. Please do like the video to